In the sport of dock jumping, dogs run at full speed off the end of a dock that sits a few feet above a pool of water. The winning dog is the one that lands furthest from the end of the dock. If a dog runs at 8.5 meters per second, straight off the end of the dock that is 0.61 meters above the water, how far will the dog go before splashing down? The range of a projectile is a horizontal distance traveled. For a projectile, its initial speed and launch angle are the two variables that determine the range. For smaller objects, air resistance is critical. The maximum range comes at an angle less than 45. So 45 degrees will actually give you the maximum range. The question. Projectiles 1 and 2 are launched over level ground with the same speed but at different angles. Which hits the ground first? Ignore air resistance. If you said shoe, then you're correct because that is the max angle that will give you the furthest distance. It doesn't have to go up as high and then stop and slow down. And this keeps a, almost a consistent speed throughout and it goes further. Vectors in circular motion. Cars on a Ferris wheel move at a constant speed but in continuously changing direction. They are uniform in circular motion. The cars are not at constant velocity because the direction of their velocity vectors change. So again, I'm going to underline that for you. The cars are not at constant velocity because the direction of their velocity vectors change. Also notice your acceleration vectors. They're all moving towards the center. That is center-seeking acceleration, also known as centripetal acceleration. Don't get that confused with centrifugal. It's not centrifugal. Centrifugal pulls outward. These are center-seeking, so it's centripetal. The velocity vector is always tangent to the circle and it's perpendicular to the acceleration. Tangent to the circle, perpendicular to the acceleration. Tangent to the circle, perpendicular to the acceleration. The car is traveling around a curve at a steady 45 miles per hour. Which vector shows the direction of the car's acceleration? Well, here's your curve. An acceleration in circular motion is what? Centripetal. So it's center seeking. So which vector? shows the direction of the car's acceleration. If you said B, you are correct. If you said B, you are correct. World class female short track speed skaters can cover the 500 meters of a race in 45 seconds. What did they just give you? They gave you 500 meters in 45 seconds. Well, what has units of meters per second? 
That's velocity. So they just told you what the velocity is. 500 divided by 45. Okay? Then it gives you a radius of approximately 11 meters. Wow, this is going to be easy. Estimate the magnitude of the skater's centripetal acceleration in a turn. And we all know that the, excipital, excel, the centripetal sorry, acceleration is v squared over r. So there's your velocity, 11 meters per second. So you put that in for v squared, that's v, 11 meters per second squared, and divided by the radius, which is given as 11. So 11 squared divided by 11 turns out to be 11 meters per second squared. That is the centripetal acceleration.